My name is Duane Piper and I'm the drama teacher here at Chinook High School. And when I was choosing a play to do for this fall, I really wanted to do something magical because I feel like theater is magic. And the most wonderful thing happens when you do theater for young audiences. I think that all the actors that you're gonna see on this stage and all the technicians that have worked hard on this story they all had a moment when they were little kids where they watched a play and they went, wow, that's incredible. And that has led them now to the point where they are able to put on a production for 340 little kids every night. And our hope is, is that they can then pass that on uh, to the next generation and there'll be kids in the audience who will see this production and they will have their own wow moment and eventually when those kids come to Chinook High School we'll get them up on stage too uh, and so that's I think for me as the director the the real magic of theater is being able to pass it on generation to generation my directorial concept for this play was magic. So many things happen in this play where you go, wow, how did they do that? Or wow, that's incredible, that's magic. Um, and a big part of that is uh, projection mapping. So here at Chinook High School, uh, we're one of the few places that can do, uh, uh, and that can use a technology called projection mapping. So we've got a high powered projector and we have a staff member here who is incredible. Her name is uh, Stephanie DeRoche and she does all of our projections for us. So these columns all behind me here uh, have been mapped out and she can project onto those columns and only those columns and different things at different times and uh, they can move around and do all kinds of interesting things. So a lot of the, the magic of the world of Munch comes in through the projections. And I mean, we also have some, some old fashioned tech. We got some uh, fog machines and confetti cannons and all that kind of good stuff too. Well, the last weekend in November, uh, the Friday and the Saturday, Friday night is opening night, and our showtime is very family friendly. We have a six o'clock showtime, so it's after supper, but it's not too late. Uh, the show runs approximately an hour, hour and five minutes, so we'll get your kids home at a good time. The Saturday shows uh, run 10.30 a.m. Same thing, it's uh, after breakfast, before lunch, perfect timing. And then we have another show on Saturdays at three o'clock. So we'll get you home in time for supper. And that same uh, schedule repeats the first weekend in December, the Friday and the Saturday, uh, three shows each weekend. And then in between, we're going on tour as well. So we're going to elementary schools uh, across Lethbridge and Kainai, taking the magic uh, straight to those schools. My name is Jordan Standing and I play Indigo, the Blue Fairy. Yeah. And my name's Anna Theoret, and I play Periwinkle the Blue Fairy. Uh, we're both narrators in the show, so we kind of take you all on this little adventure through a series of Robert Munch books. The whole show is just about kind of like engaging, and it's, it's super interactive. And as a kid, it was a huge thing for me to witness like older people do theater, because it inspires the next generation of young actors. So hopefully this show can do the same for all the kids we go to see. A lot of kid-friendly stuff there's a lot of interactive stuff with the audience so I think that um, audiences of all ages will enjoy it so. mm -hmm. okay. there's lots of energy and energy is such a beautiful thing to have in a show okay, um, I'm Brooke Rawlingson um, I go to Chinook High School and I play Coral the Pink Fairy um, my name is Cadence Clark I also go to Chinook High School and I play Fuchsia the Pink Fairy um, so basically what this is it's just we're narrators so we take you on this journey throughout um, some Robert Munch stories and it starts off as a little bit of a crash landing happens and we're on our way back home. Um, and then from there, it spurs into a competition which ends up being a friendship in the end. Um, so yeah. Yeah. Um, I think the main goal with this whole thing was to connect to those young kids who were interested in theater and to really show them how incredible the program is here, but also just how magical theater is and um, how much like you can be just about to graduate and it doesn't matter, you're still right there uh, telling Robert Munch stories. Really, when you're doing a production for younger children, you have to be very energetic and you have to be able to relate to them. And the show has a lot of, I mean, as fairies, we interact with the kids a lot, um, we talk to them a lot, we're with them a lot, we're around them a lot. Um, so it has to be very interactive, very inter or energetic and very happy. Um, and you have to be able to relate to them in a way that they understand. Yeah. And I think the biggest difference is like with a normal show, 
you would not worry so much about the audience standing up and sitting down, whereas when you're like centering it towards kids, the goal is like that they are in it with you. Like they are totally invested in whatever you're performing and they feel like they're just as much a part of the play as you are. Um, so the big highlights, well, I really like the one that you guys just saw, Mortimer. That's one of the highlights. Also, um, I quite like Mud Puddle. I think that one's super cool. We have a girl named Peyton in it, and she just makes the show um, amazing. So She's adorable. Literally, like, she makes <laughs> she makes it so... Ugh, it's really cute. <laughs> um, I'd say some highlights. Well, like, we make it for the kids, but there are these, like, tiny little parts little inside jokes that are just a little bit more there for you know the older audiences who are there with their kids but like we're there for them to have a good time too you know so there are a couple of, of like small jokes that we've just added in there that weren't necessarily part of the original production that just make it that much better